I'm Matt. I'm Lauren. We, we are, are YAH, YAH Adventures. Adventures. Tomorrow, there will be no video. Tomorrow, I'm not stopping for videos, I'm not stopping to take pictures. We'll see how that works. What are you looking at? You're going on a Camino. Kind of grumpy this morning, so maybe it'll turn into a better day. Usually when I start out grumpy, it turns good. Turn that damn thing off for a minute. Uh, this is why we have the flashing red light. I'm going to show you here. For one thing, it's a busy road. To get from my albergue to the Camino, I have to walk this busy road, cross two bridges, and then we have to go through that tunnel. That tunnel up there. That was a little nerve-wracking for me. I don't like crossing bridges. I don't like traffic. Since I'm on this side of the road, the right side, I'm gonna spin this around backwards so people coming up behind me can see the flashing light. Not sure how I feel about this, but according to the map, you hit the Camino on the other side. The other, other option is to go back up through town at about a kilometer or two to my walk. I really don't wanna do that. I got a little new blister forming. I'm gonna come on this opposite side so I'm facing the traffic, so if I have to get up against this wall, I can. Put the flashers on here so they can see me. It's just kind of, this is scary. That's how far we came. That's how far we have to go in this tunnel. I don't mind telling you, this scares me a little bit. I don't know why. It just really makes me nervous. In this case, the tunnel's well lit and it's dark outside, so you can see the dark at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> Fuck. Jesus, I'm really scared. 65 meters, see, 65 meters, gosh, <laughs> this is, I'm not afraid of too many things, but this, one of the things I thought it'd be warmer in here because it would be away from the wind, but uh, the wind just whooshes right through. Where's the Camino? Over there. Looking back at the tunnel, you can see that there was a Camino shell above it, that's kind of cool. Pilgrims out and about. Bruce Lee has been on the Camino that says, feel, don't think, use your instinct. And this is feel the magic. We're walking through some of my favorite kind of landscape. Listen. Mountain passes. Yeah, we're walking on the side of the road, but this is beautiful. This is my favorite stuff, man. In case you're interested, those are the two guys I followed down the long path the previous day. We're entering the tiny village of Pareje. I would venture there's nothing much to see here this time of morning. The Camino took us away from the main road and up here to see it. See, here's a charming little bar, but it's closed right now. So we're gonna have to go on to the next town. As you can see back here, 
little patch of uh, sun. Sun's chasing us. And where we're going, more sun, more sun chasing us. Ah, that's bright. Go back here. You can see, might be a little bit of time before sun catches us. So it's cold through these mountain passes. But uh, I walk better in the cold. I wouldn't have it any other way right now, except for my nose running into my mustache. <laughs> this is one of the many services on the Camino, Jaco Trans. What they will do is take your backpack to your next albergue if you know where you're staying. And that way you can continue to hike and not have to carry your backpack. I am not averse to using it. I've just personally uh, told myself I want to see if I can make it all the way on foot without having to send my pack ahead. I don't fault anybody who has to take a taxi ahead. Sometimes that's needed. I don't fault anybody who has to send their pack ahead. Sometimes that's needed. And I'm fully aware that I might hit a snag and have to do it myself. But I don't want to if I can help it. So it's just a personal commitment with a little wiggle room. And as we just mentioned, there's somebody needing a taxi to the next town, which is perfectly acceptable. I'm not, I, you know, I'm just saying these are tools you have on the Camino if it gets to be too hard. To me, resorting to these tools is better than quitting. And that's why I'm not averse. I, I realize I may have to take them. I've got nine days left. Knock on wood, I may not have to do it, but still, I recognize that it's an option. Getting into some good mountain, mountain environment. I don't know what word I was looking for. Still a bit cool up here, cool enough for my stocking cap. Yeah. Tired today, of course. We're always tired. That is the condition of being a pilgrim. trying to work on my resentment because I really can't stand cyclists on the Camino. That's my problem, not theirs. There's the kilometer marker. 417. If we turned around and went back that way, it's 417 kilometers to Madrid. 417 is also the day I quit drinking, so it's kind of a magical number for me. I don't know, Father, what do you think? We will go to El Bobo or something, man? Wandering through a tiny little village called Ambas Mestas. Uh, I'm sure they have services for peregrinos here, but nothing seems to be open right now. I was wrong. This isn't Ambas Mestas, this is La Putella. Ambas Mestas is like less than a kilometer up the road. My leg hurts today. Okay, looks like we passed through Ambas Mestas without realizing we we're passing through it. So we're, at, we're leaving it now. No, no, we're entering it. I saw this red crap here, it's graffiti. I thought it was, the... whenever you leave a town, there's a red slash through it saying you're leaving. So I thought we were leaving because I saw the red graffiti. That shows you how loopy my head is today. I am in what I like to call the 6K slump, which you get down to the last 6K of your trip for the day and you feel like Joe Beth Williams trying to run down the hall and poltergeist and it gets longer and longer. Uh, that scene. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. 6K slump. This village is called Vega del Valcarce. As you can see, it's a mountain village. We're up in the hills now. We've got another 3.5 kilometers to where I'm staying. It's a pretty steady incline like this. And then tomorrow morning, it's like <laughs> lift off. We're at the albergue. I took a little nap, had dinner. I want to show you where we are. Pardon me. Look at this cool lamp, first of all. Here is where we are staying tonight. It's really a very lovely place. Uh, my room's up there. We are in the mountains. And that mountain over there is what we're going over. Eight kilometers, about the same kind of uh, elevation as the last one. It's an eight kilometer hike, so it's a little longer. Uh, it's pretty steep though. And it's steep on the other side. It's gonna be fun. God, it's beautiful here. Going to bed. 
got a bit of a cold.